991. Um, it's got the it's the early version, not the not the I version. Um, I was told that these tend to suffer with microphone buzz, um, so I've plugged them in my uh, standard NT1A Rode mic via the Behringer equipment, um, and it's making a horrible buzzy noise. Uh, this is a techno fix lead um, to plug into the mic port uh, with a standard PTT button. Um, it doesn't seem to be working too well to be honest. Um, I'm getting a lot of noise. Um, I've done quite a few reports from people and they've all said there's a background buzzing noise coming from you. Um, so this video really is having a look at that. Um, I found a fix on the net and a picture of what to do. Um, so I think what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll open the thing up, um, check inside it, um, and see what we can find. Um, easy enough to open up, easy enough to, with only screws on the top. Um, so what I'll do, without further ado, we'll, uh, we'll get it opened up anyway, um, and I'll show you what you need to look for. This image on the internet, the link we need to make to ground the TFT screen. Obviously we're going to need to, um, remove the covers and drop the front down to do this um, basically I mean we're just going to remove the top and the bottom I'm not going to show you doing all that um, if you can't take screws out then don't go any further um, again remove the bottom now and this will allow us access to some tabs that we need to lift so we can pull the front forwards um, there's four tabs in total um, they just basically lift, so uh, there's one there, there's another one there, and two on the bottom. Um, basically we'll just pull those forward, but I'll do that off camera because I just need both hands to do that. I don't want to damage the unit, so I'll be back with you in just a second. Uh, front's dropped down, um, but just be careful with it. These are the four lugs. Um, you need to be very careful of these interconnection cables as well, just try not to pull them off. Um, just call yourself more complications in the end. Um, what we're looking for is uh, this is the screw that goes into the chassis. We're going to connect one of the eyes off the pieces of cable we're going to make up. And down here is the zero volt reference pad, um, which we're going to connect it to via a piece of wire. And this is what's basically made up. It's roughly 70 centimeters, sorry, 70 millimeters in length. Um, and it, it looks like there was two eyes on it basically and we just cut one off on the one end so we just got a lug that we can salt to the board you could just leave it as um, you sold, you know, soldered wire it doesn't really matter, it's just that tiny you want to do it really well, I was thinking about another one here as well might as well go full belt and braces on it and uh, make sure we've got a good grounding on it well that wasn't too successful I uh, tried it with a single wire on, put it back together tried a test transmission, no joy so I added this second one, tried it, um, still no joy. So I've made a massive ground plane. Uh, whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Um, all we can do is give it a try, really, I suppose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back together. Um, both of these links are still in place, so that should be all right. Um, I'll give it a go and see what happens. A uh, quick radio test. G6 and HW is M0 WPS. Can you give me a signal report, please? Yeah, 5.5.10, this ends. Good audio, clear background. Okay, but no sign of a, a buzzy noise in the background. Um, it's just, you know, I've done some modifications to the radio and hopefully it's cleared the problem up now. No, no, no buzzing at all. That's what I wanted to hear.